Three months later, a man is behind bars charged in the deadly assault on an elderly Home Depot employee. Terry McMillan Jr. Uh, McMillan Jr. of Durham is being charged with the murder of Gary Razor. Razor was 82 and working at the Home Depot in Hillsboro when police say he was pushed down, breaking several bones. Eventually, he did die from his injuries. Hillsboro police say Terry Jr. is facing charges including robbery and first-degree murder. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis talked with the victim's family. They're relieved someone has been arrested. This is a story that's gained national attention, and it all happened here at this Home Depot just behind me. This is where Gary Razor, a store employee, was working when he confronted a man robbing the business. The family tells me that they've been waiting months now, hoping to hear of an arrest. An early morning phone call has brought them some relief. A man in jail, a family hoping for justice. It's a video that shook the Hillsborough community. The moment surveillance cameras at a Home Depot captured a man pushing an employee to the ground while robbing the store in October. Gary Razor died from injuries a month after this happened, days after celebrating his 83rd birthday. It just, it's just mind boggling. Razor's son, Jeff, who we met back in December, says after three months, the family now feels a sense of relief. I know it sounds silly, but I'm still waiting for him to come home. On Tuesday, Hillsboro police announced the arrest of this man, Terry McMillian Jr. of Durham. He is facing robbery and first degree murder charges in connection to this case. Well, I was definitely happy when they, you know, captured the man. We know we're safe now. Ruben Martinez, who shops at the Home Depot frequently, says Razor's death has impacted this small community. It was something that was like, you know, shocking because in a small town like here. What do you think it means for the family to have this kind of closure? Definitely a relief, definitely. Hillsboro police say McMillian is in jail without bond, and they say this is still an ongoing investigation. In Hillsboro, Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News.